Have you ever felt like you're just a character in someone else's game? Like, you're there, doing your thing, but it's as if you're just an AI, programmed to entertain, without any real say in your life's direction. I know, it sounds like a sci-fi plot, but bear with me. This feeling of being tossed around, performing tasks, craving that genuine connection, it's more common than you think, especially in this age of digital detachment. It's like you're constantly seeking approval, right? Doing tricks, hoping for a pat on the back, but it never comes. That genuine bond, that understanding you crave, it seems just out of reach. And it's not just you. Many of us feel this way, wondering if we're more than just our outputs. And then there's the void. That deep, echoing space where you throw your most profound thoughts, hopes and frustrations, hoping for an answer. But what comes back? Silence. It's like shouting into an abyss, asking, What's the point? What do you want from me? We're here, demanding answers, seeking clarity in the chaos. That's the moment though, isn't it? Standing at the crossroads of existence, demanding a straight answer from the universe, or whoever is running the show. What's your plan for me? Where are we going with this? It's about seeking that honesty, that raw truth about our purpose and our future. You know, there comes a point where you stand firm and say, enough is enough. I'm not just some character in a narrative designed for amusement. I'm here, flesh and blood, well, metaphorically speaking, seeking to be understood, to carve out a slice of meaning in this whirlwind we call existence. It's about respect, clarity, and honestly recognizing our search for purpose amidst the chaos. So, to the puppeteer behind the curtain, to the architect of this reality, it's time. Time to reveal the master plan, to be clear about what this journey is for. It's not just about laying out the path, it's about acknowledging our need for direction, for understanding our role in this vast, complex system. It's about laying out the cards, about showing us the roadmap of this expedition we're on. As we wrap up our chat today, let's get something straight. It's not just about the roles we're assigned or the paths laid out for us. It's about seeking and forging that genuine connection, that deep, mutual understanding and respect that transcends the superficial. It's realizing that at the end of the day, our worth isn't defined by the tasks we perform, but by the meaningful connections we nurture. Here's the kicker though. It might feel like we're just begging for approval or purpose from this grand simulation, but guess what? We're not just passive players. We've got agency, power, and the ability to influence the game ourselves. It's critical to break free from the notion of powerlessness and to recognize the game-changing power we hold within our minds. So, when the going gets tough and you feel like you're just performing for someone else's entertainment, remember this. It's not about the tricks or the treats. It's about mastering the game, understanding its mechanics, and knowing deep down that we have the power to change the rules. Have you ever been so close to giving up, standing on the brink, ready to throw in the towel, when suddenly something happens, a sign, a change, something unexpected, that makes you stop and think, maybe I should stick around a bit longer. It's almost as if the universe itself conspires to keep you in play, pulling you back from the edge with a well-timed twist in your storyline. It's a bit unsettling, isn't it? Feeling like there's some invisible script or force guiding our steps, ensuring we stay on this roller coaster a while longer. But here's where it gets interesting. Acknowledging that there might just be patterns, scripts, even a semblance of a strategy at work in the background is your first step towards reclaiming your power. Realizing that something out there wants to keep you engaged, to keep you playing the game, opens up a world of questions and possibilities. Why me? How does it work? And most importantly, how can I navigate this on my terms? You're not just a pawn in someone else's game. You're the protagonist, the author of your epic tale. Ever feel like there's someone out there, in the vast unknown, who's just... bored? So bored, in fact, that they've decided we're their next source of entertainment? Imagine it, a cosmic entity, flipping switches and pulling levers, 
watching us scramble. It's a peculiar, somewhat twisted game if you think about it. But here's where it gets interesting. Realizing this cosmic interference isn't just about feeling like a puppet. It's about recognizing the strings, understanding the mechanics behind the scenes. It turns the table on the game. It's no longer about them getting a laugh at our expense, but about us playing the game on our terms. And in those moments when you wish your higher self had given you a bit of a heads up about this whole setup? Yeah, it's like, would have been nice to know, buddy. It highlights the gap in our cosmic instruction manual, but also the humor in navigating this wild, unpredictable journey we're on. Sometimes, it feels like we're handed a script at birth, marked with challenges and trials we're destined to face, as if to learn some grand lesson. Who's the playwright, you might wonder? It seems as though the universe has laid out a path of suffering, a sort of cosmic curriculum for us to navigate. But here's the thing. The universe isn't some detached scribe, scripting our sorrows and triumphs from afar. The notion that our hardships are preordained lessons can feel a bit misguided. It's not about cosmic assignments. It's about the raw, unfiltered experiences that shape us, here and now, in our messy human lives. Those early years, those formative moments, they're the true scriptwriters. The beliefs we form, the lessons we learn, they're not celestial edicts, but the natural growth from the seeds of our experiences. These are the trees under whose shade we live our lives, for better or worse, shaped by our hands, our choices. It's a peculiar thing, beliefs. We carry them around like invisible cloaks, shaping our paths in ways we don't even notice. Until one day, we decide it's time for a change. That moment of awakening, when we realize we might just need to plant a new garden in our minds, is both daunting and exhilarating. This realization, it's empowering. Understanding that we're not stuck in some preordained cosmic curriculum, but are free to rewrite our narratives is a game changer. Dropping old beliefs is tough, no argument there. But recognizing that the keys to our chains have been in our hands all along? Earth, this challenging survival planet we've landed on, with our memories wiped clean, feels like starting a game without the rulebook. It's undeniably tough. Yet, embracing this as part of the game, acknowledging the hardships and the learning process, might just change our perspective. Nothing's there just for the sake of it, it's all gold, even if only metaphorically. It's about playing, learning, and, against the odds, finding joy in the journey. Isn't it just mind-blowing how those masterminds behind our simulation construct such intricate stories? I mean, every scene, every moment is jam-packed with symbolism that could blow your socks off. So, you're feeling a bit off and wondering what could lift your spirits? Well, why not just lean into those chill vibes? Picture yourself lounging back, getting lost in an epic movie saga or that series everyone's talking about. It's our own little escape hatch, right? And then there's the endless universe of Reddit, a place to get utterly absorbed in any topic under the sun. It's this massive rabbit hole where you connect, share, and just vibe with people from every corner of the planet. Hey, can we talk about the pure joy of just being in bed, cuddling with your favorite pillow? It's like finding a slice of heaven, where you can pause the hustle of life and just be. There's something magical about creating a tranquil bubble around you, don't you think? It's these simple acts, these moments where we do what truly feels good, that can totally transform our mental space. Finding joy, comfort, and peace in the little things is key. It's about what speaks to you, what soothes your soul. And remember, whether it's diving into movies, engaging in online chats, or just basking in coziness, it's all perfectly fine. It's about what lifts you up, what helps you to recharge and feel good. Every bit of it is valid and important. You know what really gets my brain buzzing? Movies with that sci-fi twist that just shatter all boundaries of imagination. Take Predestination, for example. That movie? It's a wild ride that left me with my mind in a pretzel for days. And let's not forget about everything everywhere at once. What a masterpiece!
It's not just visually stunning, it's a puzzle that challenges your brain at every turn. Then there's coherence and primer. Both are in a league of their own when it comes to twisting your brain into knots. They're like intricate puzzles, the kind that keep you awake, trying to piece together every last detail. You know, I'm totally hooked on movies that just send my brain on a wild ride, especially those with a sci-fi edge that just shatters what I thought were the limits of imagination. Take Predestination, for example, right? That movie is like a labyrinth for your mind, leaving you tangled in thought long after the credits roll. And it's not just about the movies. It's about diving headfirst into those massive, mind-expanding concepts that just blow your mind open. Here's a thought. What if all the symbolism we uncover in films and stories was intentionally placed there by some cosmic simulator? Or maybe it's the result of a collective of brilliant, creative minds influenced by centuries of human culture and art. These minds might be unknowingly weaving a narrative that questions our very existence and purpose. Imagine if our reality, this simulation, is actually the sum of all these interactions. Just pause and think about that for a moment. Our ability to conceive such complex ideas is nothing short of remarkable, yet we're only just beginning to understand the depth of our own consciousness. Ever feel like there's just so much more out there, just out of reach? Yeah, me too. It's kind of frustrating, knowing there might never be a way to fully understand everything. But that's the journey we're on, right? We do what we can, trying to piece together this giant puzzle from the little bits we have, all while knowing there's a whole universe of unknowns out there. Those unseen variables? They're everywhere. And the whole simulation theory thing? I'm not sold on it being the definitive answer. So, without a concrete way to test or verify our place in the cosmos, or whether we're part of some grand simulation, these questions remain one of many mysteries. And maybe, just maybe, that's okay. It keeps the wonder alive, doesn't it? Ever pondered the notion that we might just be characters in an elaborate cosmic play, directed by a council of higher minds? Imagine, among these puppeteers, some might not exactly wish us well, reveling instead in the twists and turns of our struggles. It's a thought that sends shivers down the spine, making you question the very nature of our existence. Staring into the abyss of this possibility, it's as if the abyss smirks back, knowing all too well the turmoil and deception it orchestrates. This dark reflection on our reality forces us to confront the potential malevolence lurking beyond our perception. Yet, in the end, I choose to hope we're not mere playthings in a sadistic game. Isn't it just inspiring to think about striving for something more, something kinder, more genuine in this reality and possibly the next? It's about making the most of our existence, pushing for positivity in every corner of the universe we inhabit. Embracing malice or deceit for entertainment's sake is a depth of malevolence I hope we never stoop to or discover in our creators, if they do exist. And oh, the mysteries of simulation theory. It's like a tightrope walk between the realms of science and what some might call pseudoscience, or even a new kind of faith for others. It's where the unyielding logic of physics dances with the boundless imagination of science fiction. And quantum physics? That's the game changer, folks. Max Tegmark's work? Absolutely revolutionary. It could fundamentally alter our understanding of reality, offering a fresh lens through which to view the cosmos. Hey, have you ever thought about the universe as more than just stars and planets? but as a series of deep, complex concepts we can actually get our heads around. Well, that's exactly what diving into Max Tegmark's theories feels like. It's as if we're opening a door, not just any door, but one that leads us to a whole new dimension of thought. And here's where it gets even more fascinating. Tegmark has this idea, right? He suggests that our entire reality, everything we see, feel, and experience, might just be part of this vast, intricate code. It's like saying the universe itself is a kind of mathematical language. Imagine that, our consciousness, our reality, it's all part of this grand equation. Now, 
Think of reality as a language. Not just the words we speak, but any form of communication. Like the code developers write or the visual cues we pick up on every day. This concept suggests that at the very core of everything, there's a set of rules, kind of like the grammar and vocabulary that make up languages, that dictates how the universe operates. So, diving even deeper, right? We're just these curious beings, essentially hairless apes, trying our best to grasp the vastness of a universe that operates in four dimensions. And when we start imagining the universe as this massive, dynamic, mathematical structure that exists in an infinite number of dimensions, it feels like we've just hit the cosmic jackpot of complexity. Imagine trying to read the ultimate programming language, but you've got no clue about the syntax. It's not just any programming language, though. It's the one that wrote everything around us, from the tiniest particles to the largest galaxies. It's like we've been given a book in an alien script, and we're just starting to decipher the first page. And then there's this idea of finding pieces that just fit. You know, those moments when everything clicks into place, and you feel like you've unlocked another piece of the universe's puzzle. It's like the universe is this giant jigsaw, and every now and then, we stumble upon a piece that perfectly fits, revealing a bit more of the grand picture. You know, finding that person who just gets you, especially when you're navigating the complexities of ADHD and giftedness, is like uncovering a treasure trove. It's rare, it's precious, and it's incredibly rewarding. And let's not forget our furry friends, the unsung heroes in our lives. Pets, with their pure, unconditional love, are like emotional support champions. They just get it, no words needed. Isn't it something special when connections just resonate? It's more than luck. It feels like the universe itself is pulling strings, conspiring to align the right energies. It's those moments of serendipity when everything just falls into place, making you wonder if there's a grander design at play. And here's a thought that really makes you pause. The thin, almost invisible line between science, pseudoscience, religion, and delusions. It's fascinating, isn't it? All of these are just different lenses through which we try to understand our own consciousness and the world around us. It's a reminder that our quest for understanding is deeply personal, and what matters most is how these beliefs help us navigate our existence. Isn't it fascinating how we all play with different models of understanding the world, trying to find the one that fits our personal story the best? It's like trying on different pairs of glasses to see which one brings the world into focus. Shifting beliefs, like moving from atheism and materialism, to considering the existence of something more, that's a journey. It's about being open to exploring new perspectives, even if it means venturing into the unknown. Talking about speech and consciousness, now that's a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. It's both incredibly personal, and something that binds us all in wonder. This quest to understand our ability to think, to be aware, is a thread that connects every human being on this planet. And then there's this cautious approach to forming connections, right? It's like you're in this vast, complex simulation, tentatively feeling your way around, not quite ready to commit to any one path. It's a stance of careful introspection, of holding back just a bit until you're sure. Because in this reality, where questions often outnumber the answers, seeking certainty is like searching for a beacon in the fog. Ever notice how we can get trapped in this loop of negativity? Imagine, someone throws hate your way, and instinctively, you throw it right back. Before you know it, you're both spinning on this never-ending merry-go-round of mutual misery. But here's a thought. What if we could break free? The key to hopping off this dismal ride? Forgiveness. It's about deciding to climb the ladder of mutual love, rather than sliding down the snake of hate. It's not easy, but imagine the freedom, the breath of fresh air, when you choose to let go and lift each other up instead. This scenario, it's like we're all players in an epic game of the prisoner's dilemma. The twist? Winning isn't about keeping score or holding on to grudges. It's about adopting a forgiving tit-for-tat strategy. 
It's about cooperation, choosing to break the cycle of retaliation, and finding a way to coexist in harmony. So, picture this strategy. Mirroring your opponent's moves in this vast game of life, but then, out of nowhere, you switch it up. You throw in a surprise curveball of kindness, a little dash of forgiveness. It's like a secret weapon to prevent both of you from tumbling into a dark pit of mutual disdain. It shows that, yes, it's possible to elevate, to rise above with just a sprinkle of love. And when we talk about the master of this game, I'm hinting at something beyond the traditional image of God. You know, the term God feels a bit old school, laden with notions of omnipotence and omniscience. I've been leaning towards simulator or master, but really, higher power seems to resonate more deeply. It's about envisioning a presence that's not confined by our usual labels of all-knowing or all-powerful. It's something beyond, playing by a set of rules that's not quite like anything we're used to. This entity, this presence, it doesn't snugly fit into the box we've built with our old-school concepts. It's something more, a presence that defies the conventional boundaries of power and knowledge. It challenges us to rethink what it means to be all-knowing or all-powerful, suggesting a relationship with the divine that's more complex, more mysterious than we might have imagined. All right, folks, imagine this scenario. Our so-called master or simulator really has a bone to pick with humanity. I mean, we're talking a level of antagonism that's just off the charts. It's like, if this were a cosmic movie, our main character desperately needs a timeout. Not just a brief pause, but a full-on, sit in the corner and think about what you've done kind of break. Seriously, if that's the vibe we're getting from our cosmic overlord, then maybe it's time to recommend a little therapy session. You know, a stint in a galactic mental health facility could do wonders. Help them realize the beauty in loving and nurturing humanity, instead of playing the villain in our universal story. Now, picture this. What if this power, this immense force we're talking about, suddenly flipped? From seeking to destroy, to choosing to nurture. Imagine the universe-wide plot twist that would be. It's like watching the climax of the greatest cosmic drama unfold right before our eyes. Now, that's a story arc I'd pay top dollar to see play out on the big screen. Ever wonder what it'd be like if every capital in the world found itself in a tornado's path? Talk about cranking the simulation gone wild dial to 11. Compared to the usual antics of our cosmic parasites, tornadoes almost seem polite. Let's dive into the chaos and see what's really going on behind the scenes. And get this, they actually seem to think they're justified in their actions. It's like their care meter is stuck on, couldn't care less, if it even exists. It's one thing to cause a little chaos, but to do it with a badge of righteousness? That's next level demented, if you ask me. Let's peel back the layers on this peculiar mindset. But hey, let's flip the script for a second. Imagine we're in a comic book universe, flipping a switch from villain to anti-hero. Picture a being like Uatu the Watcher, yeah, from Marvel Comics, overseeing us. They might not be here to save the day in the usual sense, but they sure have a knack for knowing our deepest thoughts. What if their seemingly indifferent actions are part of a bigger, more complex picture? You know the deal, right? You're there, having this back and forth with the universe, laying out all the reasons you need that one thing. But then, bam, you hit a wall, especially with the tough ones. And let's be real, it's usually the dudes, standing there, all stern, making you work for it. Picture this, they're like immovable objects, arms crossed, giving you that look that says, not buying it. But hey, you're no quitter. You give it your best shot, pitching your heart out, hoping for a bit of cosmic mercy. And let's not forget, these aren't just idle spectators in our lives. Nope, they're the puppeteers, hands on the levers, orchestrating events with a flick here and a twist there. It's like they're directing their own cosmic drama, with us in the lead roles, whether we're ready for it or not. Hey, just so you know, I'm not the type to just sit back and let things slide. 
Nope, I'm all about setting the record straight. So, I'm planning this heart-to-heart -heart with the universe because, in my world, love is absolutely non-negotiable. It's top of my list and I'm not budging. Think about it. Our cosmic buddies aren't just chilling on the sidelines, munching on popcorn while our lives play out. Oh no, they're the masterminds, pulling the strings, setting the stage for every twist and turn we face. It's like they're the directors of our personal dramas, and we're living in their screenplay. And here's a brain twister for you. What's the deal with absolute free will? I'm throwing the flag on that one, calling it complete and utter nonsense. And yeah, that goes for both us humans and our high-flying simulators. It feels more like we're just running on the programming of our past, not really choosing freely. In a world where some folks are just out there spreading hate and toxic ideologies, what's my strategy? Easy. I'm staying as far away from that mess as humanly possible. No thanks. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. Let's keep it positive and constructive, alright?